Well, let's take a listen to the impulse response of the all-pass filter. I've got this set up so that we just hear a continuous repetition of the impulse response. So we see that small loop times actually introduce kind of a pitched sound. Now I also have a comb filter available in this demonstration as well. So here's the comb filter operating by itself. That's characteristic comb filter sound for really short loop times. The all-pass filter is not as pronounced. Take a quick little break for the ears here. All right, let's try the all-pass filter by itself again. This is with the comb filter now driving the all-pass filter. We see the, the initial hits are being generated by the comb filter. And those have these decaying values of their own. And then each impulse now causes a whole series of pulses to be generated by the all-pass filter. And this is how we can start to increase the pulse density of the signal fairly easily. So the comb filter spectral behavior looks like a whole series of spectral lines. These are easier to see for small loop times. That's where it gets its name comb filter. Kind of looks like a comb. It's also interesting to look at the spectrum of the all-pass filter, which even though we can hear little ticks magnitude-wise, it has a, a flat response, which is kind of interesting behavior.